icy turquoises here. But on the bottoms of these clouds are all these wonderful warm colors as well. Add some purples into the mix. Really just kind of using my sponge right now to blend it out. Staying the same value family. Kind of. I'm going to sort of move into some warm purples and red violets, and I've mixed those two together. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Okay. Eventually what I'll do is establish more of an edge See how it gives this nice looseness. More turquoise. I really love this turquoise. It's so pretty. Going, I went back to the wedge sponge here just to kind of keep it moving. I've gone back and forth between it and the round one. You get different sort of edges as you do that. And they can be effective and interesting. So you should use your tool, plus you can squish them up and do all kinds of other shapes so that you don't just always get this. I'm switching over to a different blue that's a little brighter and darker. I think that's going to serve nicely in here. interested in finding colors that are the right value and that's one of the things I love about this set too is the values are easy to determine and organize and you can really you know your your colors are always right where you put them <laughs> you don't move around and I like that. And I'm grabbing this lighter shade tint of yellow. I'm firing it in here where the sun's hitting more. I'll come back over it because the um, the mountains should reside over the top of the sky. I find it's always a good idea to reestablish the mountain shapes over the top of any sky that you put down. So I'm not worrying too much about what's happening down here at this point. But see, I kind of want to do some of the littler shapes in here. I love the palette that I can create by mixing and blending so many of these colors. It really gives a unity of color to a piece if you choose to limit your palette. Again, this is that original orange. Just putting a lick of it lightly along the edge of these. It's just very, very thin, very sheer. A little more specific now. Kind of come in here and decorate that one. I'm going to use a green now actually getting into a, a green or blue. One of the things I recognize is that oftentimes the yellow of the sun flavors the colors. I'm actually thinking this green. Yeah, see how that flavors it nicely? Now I can kind of lose the edges of these clouds.
As I'm doing that, I'm realizing that I really want some stronger blues up in here. So get back into those. Get this blended in. Punch. Sometimes when I'm working on an area where I know I'm going to use that color, I'll pull the, the pan out so that I can just stand right here and I have to keep bending over. That's wonderfully convenient and easy to do. get the ghost of this color in right now. Probably more into those. those three. And then I'm also going to um, reestablish the sky shapes around these three little clouds. some white, reestablish that light, let it really hit on here now. Again, remembering that clouds are always so soft, so I don't want to overdo any sharp edges. But one of the things I can do that I just love is out here I can start to, let's do it up here, I can start to get these little bits and dabs of edges being soft up some of that yellow color underneath, not much, just a little bit. Getting the, the dancing quality of these soft clouds, which are the stars of my show here, so I to dance. This one a little bit more exciting. And now that I'm looking at it, I realize that this cloud and this cloud are awfully similar in size and very similar in shape. So I'm going to kind of take this one cloud down. And the nice thing is I can really just carve it down. Okay. One of the things that after many, many years of working with sticks, I found myself doing was um, sticking my fingers in to the pan pastels to try and move things around. And oddly enough, they're so sheer that they don't move that much. Now that's a wonderful advantage. Lighten the sky a little bit down in here. So I'm mixing together a pale turquoise and a white. And I actually mix them on the palette to blend the colors, but then this paper invites blending so beautifully. And with the sheer pan pastel colors, you can just create this lovely sense of blending right here on the paper. It's very satisfying. Added a little green, a little pale green in here because again, I think the sky is getting a little greener as it gets towards the yellow of the setting sun. So adding that too. But see how adding these brights, the bright light whites, um, gives drama to the darks. That's what this is about. My style of painting is very loose and painterly. I enjoy the way these little sponges allow me to do this kind of painterly touch. Um, I don't fight it and try to make things particularly realistic in shape, but you can. You really can. 